Hi there, my name is Glenn Monroe and in this video I want to give you some tips on a problem I've encountered with Windows 10. See, Windows 10 is, is so far there's a lot of good things about it, but one thing I really hate about it is that it's taken over what files open what programs. So a .doc is still open by Word and a .xls is still open by Excel. That's all good, but PDF files Microsoft decided that when you open a PDF file, surely you want to open it in Microsoft Edge, which gives you no ability other than to look at it. It's virtual paper. I can do a web note or something like that. Well, I know what that is. I can have it all one screen or have it widescreen, so I can do this, but I can't do anything to it. I can't click and type. There's no options here. Can I right click on it? Save as. That's it. So it's turned my PDFs into useless documents. This is all part of Microsoft's battle with Adobe. So I'm going to close this down. I want to fix this. I want my PDFs opening with Adobe where I can make annotations and edit things. I go to my start button. I go to my settings and I'll go to my system. Under system, I'll choose default apps and here's a list. I'm going to go down here to find choose it uh, sorry try again choose default apps by file type this is going to load in a list of every single file type this will take a little bit of time so the little bar is getting smaller I'll drag this all the way down and I'm at M's okay so I'm getting there so I got to wait for it to load in a bit more there is no control F to search can't do that I can't click over here and type a PD nope can't do that so you have to go hunt for it it's this is an awful means of finding things there's no search option at all at this time so let's go hunting down here find my PDFs and there it is PDF file Microsoft Edge no click on Microsoft Edge change that to Adobe Reader which is where you want your PDFs opening then we'll close that puppy on down problem is solved I open up my PDF now and I'm now in Adobe giving me the ability to fill in and sign it. How's that for an idea? Where I can add a check mark and say, oh, I want to, uh, let's try this again, add a check mark there. And oh, put the check mark where I want to put it. So I can check mark it now. I can add text and type in my banking number, which I will pretend is 01234. If you think that's my number, you go, good luck with that but what my number is doesn't matter it's can I do something with it can I fill out the things and you can kind of play around with this I could type one letter at a time the other thing I love about Adobe is you can add a signature and so what I did was I had to take a piece of paper write my signature on it hold it up to a camera have it clear approve I was okay with it and now I have that and stored it so I can choose to place my signature and there we go now I've signed this document and now it's legit let me undo that oh. There we go. So there's things you can do with Adobe that Microsoft Edge doesn't give you the opportunity to do. I love Microsoft, but this is a mistake and it frustrated me. It might frustrate you as well. Hopefully the solution helps. Be sure to subscribe to keep updated for other things like this. I'll keep posting my pet peeves. I'll post other tips and tricks, good stuff on the web and scary stuff with scams. So thanks for watching. Stay pumped. We'll see you soon.